Hello everyone and welcome back to Lux, the channel dedicated to all things rich and luxurious. It seems like for gamers, to talks personalities, to music stars are all on YouTube today. But have you ever wondered which are the richest ones? Join us in today's video as we reveal to you not five, but six of the richest YouTubers going into 2020. But first, make sure to give this video a like and subscribe to the channel. If you're already subscribed to the channel, make sure you turn on notifications as we're releasing new videos every day. Number six, the Paul brothers. The Paul brothers, Logan and Jake, have two separate YouTube channels, but they basically do the same thing. They make music videos, stunts, and other outlandish feats to get attention. Jake Paul, the oldest brother, got mega popular via Vine and then got hired by Disney to be one of their stars. He then, to some people's belief, let his ego get in the way of things, and the content he started to make became controversial in the worst ways possible. First off, he was getting as many haters as he was fans, and his eccentric personality, if you could call it that, was getting him in trouble with his neighbors. Why? Well, it was because he was throwing all sorts of loud parties and having huge prank wars. It eventually led to a series of publicized complaints and lawsuits against him, which led to him being dropped by Disney. And while he already had many videos that have gotten tens of millions of views, he also has some of the most disliked videos on YouTube's history. As for Logan Paul, his popularity on YouTube was so grand that he was getting picked up by all sorts of people, even getting his own TV show in Logan Paul vs and hooking up with Chloe Bennett from Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. She deserves better. <laughs> yeah, I said it. So everything was going great for him too. Then he made a video making fun of a girl in Japan who had committed suicide, and people started to see a different side of Jake Paul. Which is fine, because combined with his brother, they have an amazing 38 million subscribers and over 3 billion views, earning them over $24 million combined in 2019. Wow. Aside from being one of the richest YouTubers, they're also some of the most controversial YouTube stars around, but maybe that's to help their popularity. Only time will tell. Number 5. Marky Piler Ironically enough, there are some names in YouTube that stand out from the crowd. If you've been around long enough, and for Marky Piler, that definitely is correct. He's one of the big names of the YouTuber success crew, alongside PewDiePie and others. But what makes him stand out? His personality and style of editing videos, as well as playing them. He was one of the guys who helped popularize the let's play genre. But unlike many who just play games, he plays games and gives commentary in a very over-the-top way. Mainly, he curses and isn't afraid to call out crap when he sees it. But he also plays a wide variety of games, including being one of the few major YouTubers with fame to play a slew of indie games. Though he does like horror titles, and he'll often revert back to those at times. Thanks to his fame, he's also gotten gigs as a voice actor, among other things. In 2019, Marky Piler had 23 million subscribers and made over $12.5 million, making him number five on our list. Number four, Dude Perfect. Given the nature of YouTube, you'd expect virtually every major player in the game to be either music or video game based, as those media work perfectly with what YouTube is. But Dude Perfect is a fantastic example of doing something different than that and having great success because of it. Furthermore, unlike many entries on this list, this isn't one person doing all the work, getting all the fame. Dude Perfect is honestly a group of five friends who have been doing this show for a long time. As noted, this isn't a gaming or music channel, it's a sports and comedy channel. They do videos about them playing a game and go crazy with the antics in the comedy. This helps them stand out from the crowd and make them shine even more. So much so, they have their own app, their own show on Nickelodeon called The Dude Perfect Show. And they've even gotten legendary athletes and music stars to come onto their show, which obviously has helped with ratings even more. In 2019, they had over 43 million subscribers and made $14 million, making them number four on our list. Not bad for a crew playing ball. Number three, Vanos Gaming. Sometimes, to be a hit on YouTube, you don't need to play a popular game, though that certainly helps. Sometimes you need a personality or style that'll literally attract people to you. That mentality is exactly what makes Evan Fong, aka Vanos Gaming, one of the richest people on YouTube currently. Because unlike many other YouTube gamers, he doesn't just appeal to one genre or to one game. He honestly plays a lot of them. But what sets him apart is that he has a unique visual and editing style that helps him attract in more gamers, including doing an actual animated series called Team 6. 
What might surprise you, though, is that Evan Fong is actually quite young. He was born in 1992, and since he started his YouTube channel back in 2011, he's garnered over 9 billion views, all told. Along with doing things on YouTube, Evan has been the creative director for a video game, and has even authored another animated series. He has 24 million subscribers to his channel, and in 2019, he made $15.5 million. Yep, I bet you're jealous of him. Number 2. Dan TDM If we're talking about highest annual income of a YouTuber in 2019, that would belong to Dan Middleton, also known as Dan DTM. He was a young gamer from the United Kingdom, born in 1991, and started making YouTube videos, which turned into a full-time career for him and beyond. In fact, he not only does YouTube videos, but also does voice acting, including being in Skylander Academy, and has made comic books as well. Now, would you like to guess what game he made his name from? You'd think in the current age he'd be playing something like Fortnite or PUBG, but it's not. He's known best for doing Minecraft videos. In fact, he's so popular in Minecraft that he gets sponsorship deals all the time to talk about them during his streams, wear their apparel, etc. All told, he has about 21 million subscribers. Not bad for a Minecraft guy, am I right? And as for his annual earnings, he's made $16.5 million in 2019 alone. Number 1. PewDiePie The YouTuber known as PewDiePie, real name Felix Shelberry, I kid you not, is actually a self-made success story. One day, while at college, he decided to drop out and focus on making videos on the internet on YouTube, which had started to let people with channels monetize their videos. Through his own efforts, he soon got over 1 million subscribers, which at the time was quite a feat, and that garnered him not only a lot of money, but a lot of attention, including from Disney. In a business move of epic proportions, PewDiePie got endorsed by Disney through their Branchmaker Studios and helped him promote his videos even more, which got him even more subscribers, and thus, more money. But then, he let his personality get in the way. During some of his videos, he said some very racist things, and Disney didn't hesitate to drop their support of him. YouTube did some things as well to limit his exposure, including dropping a show they were doing with him at the time. PewDiePie did try to explain his actions, but eventually admitted what he did was wrong. While he's still the most popular channel on YouTube, and still doing great in terms of money, it won't ever reach the heights that it did when he had both Disney and YouTube backing him like they were. Which brings us to today. Because if we're talking about annual income for YouTubers, PewDiePie is not number one in fact, he's number six on the rankings. But the catch here is that while he's still making about $12.5 million in annual income that is down from the previous year, his popularity is seriously waning, and because of his constant battle with Internet Super Troll, I mean rival T-Series, he's struggling to maintain his title of most subscribed YouTube channel. Still, he is rich, very rich. In fact, his net worth is estimated to be as high as $50 million, if not higher. And while $12.5 million doesn't make him the biggest annual revenue, it still pretty much makes him richer than most people who watch his channel. So what do you think? What do you think of these rich YouTubers? Which one on the list surprised you the most? Did your favorite YouTuber make the list? Let us know in the comments below. And thank you for watching Lux, the channel dedicated to all things rich and luxurious. If you liked this video, make sure you check out some of our other videos and to be notified when we release new videos. Make sure you like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. Until next time.